Well, looky here, looky here, looky here. Oh, hey. I went to Watkins again and got... Again, I mean, I could have one but that doesn't matter. I uh, got another drink. I guess you call it a smoothie. Mmm. Again, it's a sea moss thing. Ah, that's not good. But you know what I say? If you're going to really do it, you got to do it in a glass thingy. Ooh, what's that jump that went in there? I don't know what that was. I hope it's good. I'm going to leave it like that. Wait, wait, wait. I'll lose that one. Mmm. I know what you're asking. You just said sea moss, brother. What else you got in there? Okay, let me tell you what I got in here. I wrote it down. You show everybody stuff down, man. The thing between the brain and the hand, ding, ding, that's very special. If you go from the brain to the ding, 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 ding uh. Okay. This is called Lion Claw. Hmm. I'm not into lions, really. I like tigers better. But then again, I'm born a year of tiger, according to the Chinese. So I guess that means something. Actually, I'm a middle tiger. That means something else. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's what's in Lion Claw. Cashews, Chinese herbs. Uh-oh. I don't know which ones they put in there, but it's Chinese herbs. Must mean something. Sea moss. That's what I crave. Sunflower seeds. Protein powder. Pecans. Cashews and pecans? I like pecans. I mean, you know, I like pecans so much that I don't do pecan pie. It's just too, I'm going to like, no, no, I eat the whole pie. No, okay. They have the little ones. I guess I can do that. Dates. Oh, some more nuts. Walnuts. I like walnuts, too. Ginseng, banana, nutmeg, and mocha powder. What more can you ask for? The bananas overwhelming, though, man. The bananas. Something. Hmm. That little thing was ice. Okay. Oh, oh. We're supposed to be talking about stuff. Huh? B12. I tell you, I found out what B12 is. Something about the, the lungs or whatever have you. So... COVID, young lungs, I'm trying to do everything. But I want to do everything. I, I got to cool out a little bit with these pills and stuff like that. What's well, not a lot? Because I don't want my body to be, be dependent on pills. Just like I don't want to be dependent on some vaccine that, uh, that's come a year late. Nah. Especially some vaccine. Did you ever do this? Here's an exercise for you. You take the current picture of Melinda Gates. Put it there. And you take the current picture of Bill Gates, you put it there. They exist already. Like that. You look at them. Then you say to yourself, hmm, would I want to buy anything from these two individuals, these two people, Bill and Melinda Gates? Look at them. Do they look healthy? Do they look wealthy? Do they look wise? Well, if your answer is yes, you would buy from them, then they got something for you. All them vaccines they testing out on, on African children, they say they're going to first do it on black people and blah, 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 blah. First thing these politicians say, no, 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 no. Tell, you you, you want to test on somebody? Go down to Argentina where all them, where all them, 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 them Nazis still live in, in a fantasy. Test it on that group of people. You want to test on somebody? Go back to your, where you come from? Where do you all come from? What, what, what your countries of, you know, your lineage of origin? Go to them countries. Test it on them first. Because you're going to, you eventually want to end up for, for white people, but you can't take a test that, that for black people and then try to apply it to white people, right? I'm just, just the question. Talk about testing and taking, oh man, I've been out in the streets. Oh, I mean, I've been, I've been a hunt right first year. Hmm. Let me tell you. They're gouging the prices. Somebody was complaining, you know, a comb, whatever, a comb, the beauty supply places, there's lines outside. But a comb, right? A comb? Four dollars. I like one ninety nine or a dollar comb now called four dollars. I guess they want to make up their money. 
Oh, one other thing I found out. This goes into like what we need to talk about. In Kentucky, I think it's Kentucky, right? That the, the, the woman, the woman the pilot, you know, Marine pilot, whatever have you, against the brother, the, the Booker brother. Well, they say that she won. What you gonna do now, Buckwheat? You still have faith in your little Democratic Party? <laughs> or better still, you have faith in the voters? That they'll... I don't know. But I will tell you this. I don't have a problem with any of this stuff. I told you what the, I told you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm not saying you need to do it. If were I in Kentucky voting, I'm voting in Virginia. If were I in Kentucky voting, what I would do, oh, they have the Senate race and they put this woman up there, she's gonna win anyway? Write in ADOS. It's not your fight. Write in ADOS. If you look at the ballot, what's not your fight or if it's, it's a foregone conclusion, write in ADOS. Write in, don't write hashtag, write in A-D-O-S, American Descendants of Slavery. Write that in. I'm taking, a, oh, I'm taking a little personal data poll, something that counts, not, not, the, not that it comes from these big think tankies or whatever they, they do. They're making money off of these polls and they give it to, to the pundits and they, they regurgitate, rape, 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 you know what I'm saying? A little, uh, okay? Just a little message from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, enjoying my lion claw, and also letting you know what I only suspect. Mm. Healthy mind, healthy body. <laughs>